everybody, welcome back. Notice anything different? <laughs> Check this out. This rope is super important to climbers. If they're going up a rock wall or a cliff, this keeps them attached to the top. If they slip and fall, this keeps them safe. If a huge wind comes up and blows them right off the cliff, <laughs> whoa! This rope can keep them from falling. Sometimes, Life is like climbing. You're doing great, rocking it, when blam, something awful happens. You fail, you stop talking to a friend, or everything just changes. The question is, when everything is changing around us, what's our rope? What can we hold on to and trust to stay the same when it feels like everything else is going wrong? That's what Gabby, Bowie, and Trixie are wondering today too. In the source, let's find out what happens. Here, or do we need more pictures? Well, I mean, we could put it there, but if we do, then we're gonna have to. We can put something. Mr. Corbin, you need to see this. Oh, but we didn't destroy another science lab, did he? No, <laughs> we finished our tribute to Mrs. Cleveland. Oh, wow. We made the whole issue about her. Yeah, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the issue. We went all out. Mrs. Cleveland is the best teacher I've ever had. Mm. Uh, not counting you, Mr. C. I'm just kidding. She's an amazing teacher. I'm really sad she's retiring so early. Yeah, I never really liked reading until I had her class. She just made books come alive. Oh, I can't look. Oh, guys, Mrs. Cleveland can't go. She just, she just can't. Chloe, it's not the end of the world. Well, it's a huge loss for the school. You know, Mrs. Cleveland even taught me. How many years has she been teaching? Long enough to shape a lot of minds. Well, do you know who's gonna replace her? Well, since it's the middle of the year, it'll probably be a permanent sub. Yes, I love permanent subs. So many video lessons, fewer tests. It's like extra recess. Okay, now I want you guys to lead the way in making that sub feel welcome, okay? Set an example for the rest of the students in the class. Absolutely, Mr. Corbin. Yeah, we'll be so good, the sub will write a tribute to us. I really don't like English class anymore. So you met Mr. Dole. Where did they even find this sub? He's like the complete opposite of Mrs. Cleveland. You're telling me pop quiz on the first day? What grade did you get? I didn't read the book. I didn't even know we had a book. Me either. What kind of teacher does that? What happened to our school? Let me guess, English class with Mr. Dole? Exactly. I have to read this by Monday. Monday? <laughs> I couldn't even read this in a month. Let alone by Monday. There goes my weekend. I had so much planned. Um, it's Tuesday. What could you have possibly planned this early? I plan every weekend at least three months in advance. I want to maximize every single Saturday. Serial in front of the tablet, trip to the comic store, and then an all-important video game time. I cannot break that. Sounds riveting. We need to plan. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the book isn't that bad. <clears throat> In that pleasant district of Merry England, which is watered by the River Don, there extended in ancient times. Wow, that put him right to sleep. I don't like the rest of the school year. We don't need to worry. We have an ace up our sleeves. And that is? Mr. Corbin is the vice principal. He can totally fix this. Oh yeah, he does wield a lot of power. How's it going in here? Mr. Corbin, we're so glad to see you. <sighs> What's up? You have to fire the new sub. Okay, I can't do that. But look what he's doing to Bowie. 
Someone say my name? What happened? You were reading your book. Oh yeah. What page was I on? One. One. New substitute not going well, huh? We have so much homework we can't even write for the paper. Seriously, I don't even want to write my name. Okay, you guys need to give Mr. Dole a chance. Mrs. Cleveland left really big shoes to fill. He's just trying to make his mark. But he's making me lose my mind. What's wrong? Is that an F? Let me guess, Mr. Dole. <laughs> Who else? In all my years of school, I have never received anything less than a B, much less this horrid letter. You mean an F. Shh. Don't say it out loud, it only makes it more real. We need to do something. He's like the complete opposite of Mrs. Cleveland. Have you guys seen Mr. Corbin? He's on Dodge, hall monitor. No, he's not in yet. I need his help, like immediately. Guess what I got? Is it an F? No, I got detention. What? What did you do? Well, Mr. Dole told me, <clears throat> Trent Dodge Hall Monitor is not authorized by the school. And he gave you a detention for that? Oh, not one detention, a week's worth. I miss Mrs. Cleveland. She always understood every single disguise. Mr. Dole struck again, huh? I don't even think he's a teacher, Mr. C. He's a nightmare come to life. Why, what's happening? He's not adjusting. He's not teaching us. He's just trying to make our lives miserable. I think he hates kids. Okay, guys, that's not true. Look, Mr. Dole may have methods you're not used to, but he still wants your best. I got it. Do you guys know what time it is? Uh, 3.30? It's spy time. No, no, Bowie, Wait, no spy on, time. Then we need to rally the students. We need to stand together and take back our English class. One cannot defeat many. Hey, I think that's in my book. Bowie, get me a disguise. On it. Okay, remember, no spying. Relax, Mr. Corbin. It's cool. Okay. Viva la English class. <sighs> Not joining the revolution? No, it's not my thing. I just roll with the changes, Mr. C. Plus, Gabby and Bowie are gonna be in detention for the rest of the year. Mr. Corbin, can you sign this? We, um, we got more detention. No, oh, it's just like old times. We can't win, Mr. Corbin. Mr. Dole hates us. So, the revolt didn't end well. Nope. Mr. Corbin, you have to stand up to him. Guys, I can't step in, okay? It's his class. But he doesn't teach. All he does is dish out pages and pages of homework. He's your teacher. You need to show him the same respect you show me. But he's totally not you, Mr. Corbin. Okay, this is an important moment. Guys, you can either let an obstacle stop you or let it grow you. How can an obstacle grow me? Mr. Dole is absolutely making me wilt, and I need to grow! Yeah, I'm only this tall. Okay, everyone, gather around. It's time to be a pencil. Mr. C, what are you talking about? I get it. Mr. Dole is going to do this to us. That seems right. You almost had it, Bowie. When I write with the same pencil over and over and over again, eventually, it becomes dull. But if I do this, It's sharp again, and becomes a much better pencil. Your metaphors drive me crazy, Mr. Corbin. But it's a good one. Sometimes we get great teachers, like Mrs. Cleveland and Mr. Corbin, and sometimes we get hard teachers, like Mr. Dole. But even those teachers can sharpen us if we let them. Finally, you guys are listening to me. You know. This thing's actually pretty cool. Okay, how do you, how do you open this thing? Is, no, you just make <gasps> 
Sometimes I wish life was just a little less messy. Sorry, Mr. Corbin. Let's just clean it up. Okay. Ugh. Life can be so messy sometimes. We all have people like Mr. Dole who we just don't get along with. I love what Mr. Corbin was saying about the pencil. But when things get tough, it's not easy to think, this can help me grow. Trust me, I get it. I grew up in the suburbs, so there were a lot of houses around me. And so when I wanted to play with my friends, I would just ride my bike over to their house. But then my parents moved to a farm and there were only farm animals. Cows, pigs, and sheep were not my choice of friends. But as we continued to live there, I started to like it. There was a lot of open spaces, I still got to ride my bike, and I still got to hang out with my friends on the weekends. When things got tough, I had to choose between giving up or getting back up. My problems aren't even so bad though, especially when compared to a guy named Daniel. Daniel lived a long time ago, and we can read his story in the book of the Bible named after him. When Daniel was a little bit older than most of you, his life was mm, rough. He had been taken from his home to a place far, far away called Babylon. The people talked differently than he did and dressed differently. That'd be like going to a school where you totally don't fit in. They wouldn't even let Daniel use his real name. They changed it to Belshazzar. Did I say that right? <sighs> I'd hate to try to spell that on my homework. Daniel wouldn't let those obstacles stop him though. He started learning the language and he worked hard at the jobs the king gave to him. But there was one choice Daniel made that set him apart from everyone else. He made the choice to trust God, no matter what. Even when Daniel was hundreds of miles from home, where am I? Anyone? He trusted God even though he was surrounded by people who didn't even know who God was? Who's this God you're talking about now? Daniel still trusted God. Daniel was able to trust God because he knew when things around us change, God stays the same. Whatever happened to Daniel, God was still the same. And the great thing is, God's still the same today too. Whether life is great, or really hard. God is still the same. Even if it seems like everything is going wrong, God still cares about you. Woo! When you choose to trust God, you'll see him do amazing things. Daniel sure did. We'll learn more about what Daniel went through next week. I will see you then.